Apparently the Manchester Police Department said they are coming at 11 p.m. to issue um, summonses to court and they said that if we um, choose to stay after that summons they will start making arrests. I am, going, I am going to stay and refuse to leave this park because I feel that it is my First Amendment right to assemble in public and um, I will not be bullied around by, by the police. They're getting out of their car. Stop getting shake my hand for a second. Yeah, right. yeah, no problem. <laughs> How you guys been? Doing okay. Pete, are we gonna uh, are we gonna get some cooperation from your group? Because we spoke to the assembly earlier and uh, uh, basically assured them that they're going to be treated with the utmost respect and, and I got the same sentiment back from them um, and I just don't want anything to, to get in the way of that. Uh, I mean when you ask me about my group I'll be responsible for my own actions. I don't, I'm not, you know. Fair enough. I don't plan to aggress upon anybody's rights. I don't want to see anybody else's rights get aggressed upon but I will document that happening if it occurs. Well, that's why we have cameras, you know, mm -hmm. just in case. So. Yeah. We got a camera too. I know, I see. <laughs> we all got cameras. on YouTube? Uh, can we can we use your website? Sure. <laughs> oppression and retaliation, the foundation of such a method is love. The challenge comes with how do you engage in love when you see injustice around you and when you are confronted by people who even are threatening violence to you. But in the way of nonviolence, the response is still to try to treat those people with respect and dignity because they are human beings. I gave you the point of information, Captain. There is a an ordinance pertaining to a park curfew. Uh, that time has passed, 11 p.m. Um, as I explained earlier, my hope is not to have to take a single enforcement action. Um, and I would respectfully request that all of you please vacate the park so that we can enforce our ordinance. Um, again, for some benefit of some of you that weren't here earlier, uh, we, we've exercised some discretion um, to allow you to, to, um, to move about and to uh, express your beliefs and, and to, to build upon your movement. Um, but uh, the time has come at this point that we have to enforce our ordinance. And throughout this, you folks have been exceptionally cooperative with us and we've tried to reciprocate. Um, and I, I hope to continue to do that tonight. That's our intent. And in the future. Um, and in the future. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I don't like the fact that we have to give anybody a citation. Um, but we, you know, we have responsibilities. We have people to answer to, and uh, we have to uh, we have to follow up on that. Because, we, like I indicated earlier, we probably will see each other again. Because um, the Occupy movement is, is is a large movement gathering momentum. We recognize that. I, I know there's potentially members of the media here. Uh, the park curfew applies to everyone. You're certainly within your rights to video record from the sidewalk. Uh, but we do have to clear the park, so... We're awesome. going to do this peacefully and we're accepting the consequences of our action in a, a, as peaceful a manner as is possible. Does the park curfew supersede the ruling that was recently in the First Circuit Appeals Court of Glick? That I has nothing to do with the park curfew issue. I know, but I'm saying yeah. I think it supersedes... I'm if, not, I'm not if the park was closed and you guys were arresting somebody, I could come and film you doing it. But you can't violate the park curfew. You can certainly video from here. Actually, the ruling stated any law preventing that is illegal. Right. Uh, How can you prevent me from my First Amendment right? Glove, but I don't want to get into debate with you. How come that guy gets to break the law? Yeah, why does he hey, get to do it? He's with us. Oh, he's so, with you? So, one set of rule for you and one set of rule for us. Why would you stand in line for this? I was willing to accept the ticket, but I wasn't going to wait in line to get a ticket. I'm not going to help them do their job. Don't take the plea deal. Take it to a jury. Mic check. No victim, no crime. No victim, no crime. No victim, no crime. No victim, no crime. I'm getting a citation. I was here to uh, come down and record. Um, wanted to hold the police accountable. But when my friends are harassed by the state, told they can't leave by men with guns, I really con I'm concerned for their safety. I so I wanted to get in and make sure everything was recorded and held accountable. And in the process, I wasn't able to leave. <laughs> you said earlier that you're responsible to other people. You know, you got You don't want to arrest folks or give them summons, but you got to do your job. I mean, at the end of the day, that's I think why 
folks are out here because people are should be answerable to themselves, but instead they say, no, I'm just following my orders. So it starts with you, man. You've got to be responsible for it. I think, I think the police department has treated the Dutch people very fairly. They've been very good to us. Mike Jackson! I just asked him why he chose to become a police officer, and he said, I don't know sometimes, with a chuckle. The law is not putting handcuffs on people right now. So he is putting handcuffs on people very respectful you mean you're taking people who are peacefully protesting to jail they that's not very respectful man up for it bob you can believe that if you want but you know that's not respectful that's in you nuremberg trials i'm just saying they said that people have a right to peacefully assemble they have a right to progress and grievance they have a right to freedom of speech and those rights trump city ordinance as a state rep i think that I would love to talk to all the people who are here and file a petition agreement to address this, potentially with legislation, to clarify that no, in fact, cities, including Manchester and towns, cannot pass ordinances that trump those constitutional rights. I'm actually just genuinely kind of creeped out by this right now. Yeah. Stay strong. We love you, Elizabeth. If I went up to a random girl on the street and started cussing her like that, I would be in the wrong. You guys don't have the right to do it because you got that costume on. And I'm out. I was arrested for protesting at Veterans Park and refusing to leave when I was occupying. Um, we got a 25% discount. We're ordering this on behalf of our friends at the Manchester PD. Interesting. <laughs> What's up, Beth? I'm not allowed to go to Veterans Park. Yeah. Or Victory Park. Do you have anything to say? Yep. Solidarity. Yep. Go against the window and they just put a piece of paper over it. That's how that's how mature these guys are who claim to work for us and be transparent. I started crying after he shut the door. When they opened the van, um, the same officer asked me why I was crying. I said I'm scared, and he said you should be. And um, as somebody in a huge power imb imbalance, the person saying that, with all the power, I think that was inappropriate, to say the least.